one of the things that Tucker said after his interview with Putin, he was just in his hotel, just chatting on, on video. And he said that he felt like Putin was not very good at explaining himself, like a coherent whole narrative of why the invasion happened, or just this big picture. And he said, that's not because he doesn't have one, but it's been a long time since he's had somebody around him where he has to explain himself to. So he's out of practice, which is very interesting. It's a very interesting point. And that's what war and being in power for a prolonged period of time can do. So on that topic, if you had a chance to talk to Putin, what kind of questions would you ask him? What, what would you like to find out about the man as he stands today? As a historian, I have a lot of questions, and I have questions about when when the decision was made to attack Ukraine and what went into this decision, because we are, we are thinking about that, we are trying. So as a historian, I, I have this, this, this big question. I have a question about the Crimea when those decisions were made. So that sort of questions that, that interest me, but the rest either I think that I understand what is going on with him or I don't expect the answer that can help. For, for example, a good question, whether you regret or not the start of the war in 2022, given, given the enormous, enormous casualties on both sides. But you can't expect from a politician an honest answer to this question, right? So th there are questions to which I know he can't answer honestly, and then there are other questions to which I think he already provided all answers that he could. So what what for me is 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 of interest are basically questions for a historian about about the the timing and and the and the and the logic of particular decisions. Well, I do wonder how different what he says publicly is from what he thinks privately. So a question about when the decision to invade Ukraine happens is a very good question to give insight to the difference between how he thinks about the world privately versus what he says publicly. Yeah. And same about other, you know, about empire. As if you ask uh, Putin, he will say he has no interest in empire and he finds the notion silly. But at the same time, perhaps privately, there's a sense in which he does uh, seek the, the reunification of the Russian Empire. Not in the form of the Russian Empire, not in the form of the Soviet Union, but certainly in some form of the Russian control. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's for me at least, it's, it's quite clear. Otherwise, there would be no uh, busts to the, uh, bust to, to the, to the Russian emperors and Catherine and, and, and Peter and others.